Hey, it's Chris from The Verge, and I'm here in front of a Renovo Coupe, a $500,000 plus electric car. You don't necessarily expect an electric car of all things to cost that much money, but this is a very different kind of electric car. So we're gonna check it out, talk to some of the people behind it. Let's have a look. We started in 2010. We were watching the EV industry sort of grow around us in Silicon Valley, and we are deeply inspired by the work of not just Tesla, but other automotive companies to go into the EV space. But what we saw is that the focus of most of these companies was to build really mass market, low cost EVs. That's a really great mission, it's an important thing for us to do. But where our passion lay was in the high performance space. And we saw a massive opening to go and build a brand, building incredibly high performance, incredibly exciting vehicles. Sustaining power in an electric vehicle is really difficult. It's difficult to get the heat out, it's difficult to manage the batteries, um, and that's something that's a huge challenge in any electric vehicle. If you want to take your electric vehicle to the track, today with any production electric vehicle, you can't do it. You're going to get maybe one lap, maybe two laps, and then you're done for the rest of the day. This vehicle is built to do seven to ten laps around the track like Laguna Seca, come in, fast charge in half an hour, go right back out on the track and you do that all day, every day. So one of the things we learned from the Tesla guys is to kind of know what it is that you do best and then find partners that are a perfect fit for the vision you have for the car you want to build. So we worked with NVIDIA. NVIDIA's been a great partner for us. We started working with them a few months ago. Um, they just came out with a new X1 uh, chip and what's particularly interesting about it is they have an entire stack. Everything from the chip to a reference platform, to the software stack, to the graphics package that helps you, you know, basically do a design studio on top of it. And it's something that basically enables a small company like ours to have the most advanced technology, not just under the hood, but actually in the cockpit. What we're gonna be doing in the next five years, 10 years, as new technology comes line, as new capabilities are available to us, as we understand uh, the software and the technology and the integration better, what you're gonna see is just, it, it's, it's going to eclipse what you're seeing today in, in, in uh, most of the latest supercars. We feel like we built a very flexible and modular platform that can go into a lot of different markets. And furthermore, we can take the components and systems here and move them into much larger scales, either through licensing or partnering or co-manufacturing. So there's a lot of potential in the system that we've built, and it's up to us really now over 2015 to show a vision of how this platform can do a lot of different things, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is an amazing car. This is our first product offering, 500 horsepower, zero to 60, 3.4 seconds. We're really proud of it. We're not gonna stand still. It's just like any other supercar maker. We're gonna continue to push the envelope. It really represents what we think is the highest pinnacle for what an EV can be today. I want this car. I can't afford this car, mind you, but I want it. Uh, not gonna happen. Uh, but hopefully over the course of 2015, we'll get more chances to check it out, maybe take it out on the track, fingers crossed. But in the meantime, for more of our car coverage and more coverage from CES, check out The Verge on YouTube.